work together. I'm very hopeful about that. Uh, talking about more of the national issues today, it's a sense of belonging, even the issue of security issues, issues that concern all of us. Um, I think um, what is important for us now, as I keep on repeating, is that these issues are issues that should involve everybody. <clears throat> I think that when we talk about kidnapping or we talk about sense of belonging, these are issues that cross party lines. And what is required now is for, for government to provide leadership in bringing all stakeholders together, let us discuss and see how we can address some of these issues. I know it's a great concern. We are, we are very hopeful for the future of this country. We are very hopeful for a future that everybody will have a sense of belonging. But I think it's important that we all must be able to be on the table and discuss. We have, we can tap into a lot of resources. Uh, even on the issue of security, there are a lot of people with a lot of experience that we can. And I've said that, I said that uh, two or three times in the past, that my advice to government this time is that this problem is, is, is a huge problem to just be left to just a ruling a government and a ruling party. I think it's the time where opposition, ruling party, <coughs> our, our international friends, uh, private sector, all of us must come on a round table because of the challenges before us are, are enormous and we need to address it. Uh, as we talk about a uh, lot of politicians, we talk about 2023, we still have two years before that. And, and it is our responsibility all of us to see that during those two years, we all work to, to address that. But the, the, the initiative must come from must come from government. I think once government does that, then my own advice is that everybody that has something to contribute should be able to work together and see how people will have a sense of belonging. And part of that sense of belonging is to be on the table, to be able to discuss the way forward for this country. We must come here to listen to his own advice, suggestions to our committee, to let him know what we're trying to achieve, which is about trying to reconcile our party, reposition our party, and be able to learn from his own wisdom, from his own experience and his wisdom. And as you all know, President Basunjo is somebody who has sacrificed a lot for this country and continues to do that. Uh, whether you, you like him, his way or not, you cannot take his commitment to this country. And anything that has to do with how we make this country better, I think any, any committee or any group of people who have that kind of assignment, it makes sense for you to come and tap on his fountain of wisdom when I come here. And we've, we've enjoyed that for the last two hours, giving us his thoughts on Nigeria, on the, on, 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 on the project Nigeria, our country, uh, the unity of our country, the sense of belonging of our country and what we what his own view uh, needs to be done in doing that.
And so we're thankful for him to always be available for us. I think as a country, uh, we are blessed to always have that kind of person that we can all come to and learn from. Because we, in the exercise that we are doing, uh, we need those kind of um, places to go to in order to get it right for our party.